Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the polarity for SF4 molecule. It's a chemical formula for silicon tetrafluoride and to determine its polarity we will first look at its lowest structure followed by its shape and then we will check the difference of electronegativities for silicon and fluorine atoms to find out if there is a net dipole moment in this molecule. So to start with it we are first going to look at its lowest structure. Here as you can see silicon is in the center and it is forming four bonds with four fluorine atoms and all the uh, electrons are used up by fluorine atom to complete its octet. So there are no lone pairs on this uh, central atom and this molecule seems to be symmetrical uh, which is why I assume that it could be a non-polar molecule. Generally the molecules in which there are no lone pairs on the central atom and have a symmetry uh, they are non-polar molecules but let's not come to that conclusion uh, without looking at its shape and checking the net dipole moment. If you look at its shape, the shape is tetrahedral as you can see and all the four uh, fluorine atoms are spread out evenly in the plane. They try to cancel the repulsive forces by spreading out evenly so that there is no uneven distribution of uh, charges. And now if you look at the electronegativity values of silicon and fluorine, for fluorine it is 4.0 because it is the most electronegative atom over there and for silicon it is 1.8. So the difference is much higher than 0.4 which means that the bonds between silicon and fluorine are polar and as these bonds are polar there will be a dipole moment in the direction of fluorine atom. So the direction of the dipole moment will be in this direction from silicon to fluorine atom and this will be same for all the four atoms of fluorine but as it, uh, it is a symmetrical molecule these charges or this dipole moments cancel each other out and as these dipole moments are cancelled out the net dipole moment of this molecule becomes zero and as there is no net dipole moment in this molecule there are no poles formed in this molecule and hence SIF4 is a non-polar molecule. I hope this video helps you to understand that and for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.